So, Patrick Channelay of ptlarts.com. Uh, discussion, really. Uh, no, discussion with one ended discussion, i.e., me just talking about paint what you see. So, paint what you see. Um, so, Claude Monet said, paint what you really see, not what you think you ought to see. So, yeah, so I'm Patra. I've been, I've been painting just for a few years, and I'm finding through that doing painting, through making paintings, and now selling them as a business, etc. It's about these. It's about relationships, and it's about it's a relationship with the first port of course, Apart from all the relationships that I make with other people, is actually what I'm painting. So I look at something so when i started i'd look at something and paint what i expected the image to reflect what i was looking at and so i'd use my initial surface opinion of what it was that i saw um but like everything i think like um learning to play snooker, learning to play golf, learning to, to be a gymnast, a tennis player, whatever it might be. You know, you practice, 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 and then you discover actually a whole new way of doing these things. It can't, in a sense, can only, the only thing that can be taught is the actual doing of it. So what do you see? It's like trusting that what you do see is really got value that it does count for something this may be the first battle in learning to do something like painting um so you know with all creative pursuits um actually for me it's i can only learn about them but by doing them it's a bit like you can't really learn how to play tennis by just reading about it and looking at other people playing it can you you have to do it so it actually is creative pursuit is no different so it may be that like for me one thing that i found really difficult and i still haven't really mastered is like when i was, it was roller skating I stood on roller skates and fell off and that was it. I decided I couldn't do it. So still, that's still in my agenda of things, something that I can't quite master. Right? You know, I don't necessarily going to lose sleep about whether I can roller skate or not, but the theory is exactly the same. So seeing is something that we all do all the time and actually a lot of us do it really, really well. Um, and when you start to like get involved with the action of doing something to produce something that looks like what it is you're painting, for example, um, what it does, it just improves your ability to have this relationship with this sense that you have, the sense that you can see, which of course you can. And there's wonderful examples that I remind myself of is you maybe like I'm sure you have many more friends than I do, but um like you'll be walking down the street and you look down the end of the street and you see somebody that you know walking towards you and you just immediately isn't it amazing? You recognize them just by like the tilt, the way they walk, the and as they get closer you sort of become recognize them even more deeply well it's exactly the same for in the art of painting gradually you sort of as you look at something more and more and more you realize that it's not actually what you think it is it's a combination of shades and colors and darks and lights and you become more and more accustomed at trusting the response that you have and what you're looking at this relationship and putting it onto canvas and then so claude monet in that quote i think just to refer to it again i'll just find it is um 
paint what you really see not what you think you ought to see so that's even more going into more depth i think of um yeah so this ought to see it's quite an interesting idea isn't it it's sort of so for us that maybe weren't encouraged when we were younger to paint and draw it always seems to be like incredibly competitive doesn't it when you're young so there's some where that uh you know immediately draw something that represents something really well and they get sort of acclaim and praise and you go well they're really good at it i can't possibly do it as opposed to sort of it could take some time and some layers and some who knows what it is to get to a point where you're actually recreating something that you feel you do and then of course to go in further depth it's sort of what is it that it makes the person feel that is viewing what you're doing is it the same as what you're communicating so like the or becomes quite as it happens i tend to do quite like i'm doing portraits at the moment this early on in my painting um explorations um so i'm doing like people that are well known so it's a good indicator for me if somebody can look at it and recognize it's like John Lennon or Miles Davis or whoever it is. On one level, it means that I'm at, having a relationship with the person who's seen it will become empowered that they can recognize what I've painted. So therefore, I can have a relationship with them um, where they're really pleased that they recognize that I've... And then, of course, because they've recognized who it is they immediately warm to like the fact that i've painted something that they recognize so i'm not aloof i'm not separate from them i'm not in a, an elite of somebody that can do something wow etc etc so for these relationships and what is it is what i want to talk about over the next 90 days i'm going to like talk about different aspects and um so it'd be great if you do watch it if anybody does if you do watch it please comment you know add comments below give me a thumbs up it'd be great if i can get some thumbs up over a period of time i also post in blogs onto my um website which is at ptlarts.com so please have a look i've got a shop on there with my more of my artwork you can see some dimly in the background in the dark wintry days the dark wintry days so ptlarts.com is also going to be there's going to be poetry i'm going to talk about like making music as well because i do that as well um my primary function at the moment seems to be around painting or that's what i'm in the working world with so i sell my paintings i do portraits i do requests commissions etc so there you go this is day one of many thank you so much for listening i really do appreciate it any thumbs up be much appreciated so See you on the next video.